So in the health area that we're starting at Rice in the psychology department, we're really at the intersection of psychology and behavior and medicine. So one thing that we're really interested in is how stress affects the immune system, which in turn affects diseases, but also mental health outcomes. So what we do in a lot of our studies is we bring people into the laboratory and we do standardized stressors on them. Now I am going to ask you to count backwards by 13 from the number 4,832. Um, they might do a mental arithmetic task, they might do a mock job interview, and all the while they have a catheter in their arm and we take blood to look at their levels of things called inflammation. Now, the reason why inflammation seems to be such a big deal is it seems to be the root of just about every mental health outcome and physical health outcome that's negative. Now you can imagine a scenario when you maybe scratched yourself or pricked yourself, you're gonna get an inflammatory response. You're gonna get redness where you got that prick. That is good, that is adaptive. That's your immune system working for you to kill that pathogen. But we're finding more and more among people who are chronically stressed is that they don't just have an inflammatory response to that, but they have a pro-inflammatory response that's systematic in their body at all times. And that seems to be what's the root of a lot of diseases. So those who are low socioeconomic status, those who possibly experienced early life stress as a children, or those who are chronically depressed, they have this inflammatory response that just doesn't go away. And it's a predictor of cardiovascular disease, type 2 diabetes, um, some cancers, Alzheimer's, dementia, cognitive impairment, you name it. And in our recent work, we're finding that it's associated with depression. And it seems to be specifically associated with the type of depression that is treatment resistant to things like SSRIs. So what we would like to do in our studies is understand how to reduce those levels of inflammation to reduce depressive symptomology through things like relaxation and meditation exercises, but also pharmacologically. And that's why we're very well integrated, the psychology department at Rice, with MD Anderson and Baylor on the medical side, because this is really transdisciplinary type of research.